Thanks, Mr. Worm. This is Barry Russo, and um, I'm the CEO for the Center for Cancer and Blood Disorders. And um, by way of introduction, just to just to give you some perspective, we're a private community oncology practice, and uh, in the Dallas Fort Worth area, we have 54 providers in our practice. Uh, consists of medical oncology, radiation oncology, gynecologic oncology, and breast surgery. <clears throat> we um, uh, have our practice that actually has um, and continues to participate in a number of different systems. So when we talk about interoperability and we're talking across uh, organizations, um, I'm actually uh, spending a lot of time just dealing with the interoperability inside of our organization uh, related to this number of systems that we have. First, uh, uh, across our practice, we have 14 locations. Uh, we currently have three EMRs running, and uh, that's not a specific strategy, trust me, it is more of uh, a necessity and part of our assessment of trying to figure out, um, can we find an EHR uh, that actually um, uh, does have a lot of the interoperability and connections and functionality that we need to uh, operate each day. Uh, and we're continued to be on that quest. We also have a separate clinical pathway system. We have a separate patient portal. We have a separate triage system. We have a separate uh, risk stratification system. Clearly, we also have a clinical trial management system. Uh, we have a, at least the beginnings of a PRO uh, related system related to and somewhat to our portal. And I could go on and on and on of the different connectivity or different components of systems we have that we're uh, using to try and function uh, and, uh, and do all the things we need to do uh, and just trying to get interoperability uh, between those systems just for the uh, care with the inside of our practice, never mind the fact that um, our physicians uh, practice at uh, close to 40 hospitals across Dallas-Fort Worth, many of them on one EMR, but some of them not. So even we were talking this morning about uh, an app uh, for inpatient care, uh, so you could recognize you're seeing a patient, uh, but the problem being that uh, many of the hospitals are on different uh, systems and uh, we, one app won't work. So uh, trying to have a physician uh, sitting in the hospital uh, guessing which app actually applies uh, obviously creates some uh, super complications. At the whole, while we're doing all that, we're obviously trying to gather data and collect data and uh, with structured data fields. And uh, we have firms we work with that actually do have some, um, a little bit of natural uh, language processing, but also have um, staff that just abstracting data. And interestingly enough, uh, even with some of those uh, relationships, the data that we're, uh, we're pulling, even through the abstraction process, um, is not uh, equating to what we think uh, as we're trying to pull just cohorts of patients. Uh, even the cohorts aren't uh, as clean as we anticipated, even through data abstraction. So um, super complicated process. And while we're worried about uh, connectivity of all the data systems and interoperability and data collection, um, my physicians are most worried about how many clicks they have to finish their note and get through the day. Uh, I could tell you that my physicians could tell you how many clicks each section of the EMR requires. Uh, and uh, that's an issue I'm trying to uh, address as well. Uh, I think Dr. Zahn said it earlier um, that, you know, how do we get the record to work for us as opposed to us to work for the record? Uh, and how do we uh, get our medical staff comfortable uh, with uh, the challenges of uh, or balance between trying to manage the, uh, the needs that we have across the system, the interoperability across the system, and even more so complicated by uh, PROs and, and wearables and things that we're looking at, uh, to balance that against how they get through their day, see 25, 30 patients, uh, minimize the number of clicks they have, and still collect uh, valuable data. It's been a challenge 
uh, especially at a community practice level. And I'm so anxious to hear what other folks are doing. I'm on this panel because I'm really excited about learning uh, what others might be doing that could give me some, uh, uh, some direction, some help as we try and progress through this. So having said that, I think my time is up and I will um, pass it on back to uh, our moderators.